they like bring in five witch doctors to judge you and then see if you're a witch. Therefore, Ichi, ubika kukut. Ubika kudao kuinefe kudia o kudef momwena wanfwa. Wanfwa kofimu. Uh, I thought the casting of Maggie was wonderful, um, and Tula's a great heroine, and despite the fact that we don't hear her talk a lot, we really get behind her. What aspect of her character do you think um, people will most identify with? I guess it's maybe the idea of feeling like you're powerless, I guess. And I didn't want her to be... Um, I think, Sh well, Shula, all the characters are somehow versions of myself, but with her, I felt like... Um, she has like an inner strength and, and she's not the typical, because I remember when I was writing it, everyone thought that she should be sassy and like outgoing. And now I was like, but I'm, I, I feel like I'm not like that and it's not really a representation of me and I felt like she can just have an inner quiet that slowly gains strength. And for me that felt more realistic. So I hope they sort of, the, for those of us who find it difficult to kind of uh, be overtly strong and, and like outspoken, Shula is that person that's like, you know, the quiet hero. Yeah. Um, and how exciting was it for you to be able to portray these cultures and communities that are so seldom seen on our screens? Well, I took the truth and kind of exaggerated it or, or mixed it up with my own imagination. But what I get excited about is seeing different kinds of people. So like, I made sure I, I diversified where the tribes came from. And I like seeing older women. I'd, I would like to see more older women in, in and not just roles as witches, yeah. but older women in like other roles that are more like maybe characterful and then they take the, the lead, you know, that would be great. So I, I mixed up with a medley of different people. That's because that, that's what life is for me. And uh, the legal system and the law making system plays a huge role in the film. Um, what research did you undertake to make sure that that was fair and authentic, or did you exaggerate it like you did other elements? Yeah, and yeah, I've also exaggerated. None of it is authentic. It's also, but it, it, the seed is truthful because in in Zambia there is the rural law, which is run by local courts, and that depends on the chief. So. Um, when someone's accused of being a witch in some parts of Africa, depending on the chief, they like bring in five witch doctors to judge you and then see if you're a witch. Yes. And, and other people cut a chicken to see how it dies and see if you're a witch. So it's it's different things. So those two exist: the rural law and the like, the law of the land, which somehow sometimes conflict with each other. I thought this uh, this metaphor of um, women either having to choose to live a life as a prisoner, as a witch, or a free life as a goat, taking on that risk. I thought that was really interesting and really relevant. What was it that drew you to that and made you want to talk about that? Um, it was in partly in my research. So when I was staying at the, the one of the these witch camps in, in Ghana, um, it struck me because in those camps they are very, very limited in the movement and every day, sometimes three times a day, they have to go and work for the chief for free. Um, in exchange because he gave them this shelter and this little village they can live in and feel protected. They're kind of stuck so they can't go back home and they're kind of used as, as slaves in a way. And then when I went out once to the market and I saw these like, and Ghana has these things which Zambia does and they have tons of goats everywhere. Um, at least where I was, I had loads of goats. And I remember looking at these goats and some of them like hung out in little groups like families and, and thinking, wow, they're more free than, than these women. Because they can, they they're not tied, yeah. and, and they can kind of hang out, and and no one tells them where to go, and they can eat and do whatever they want. So, I thought it's probably better to be a girl. How did you walk that line between, um, on the one hand, uh, satirical comedy, and on the other hand, like tragic realism? Yeah, it's a hard thing because you don't want to trivialize the real thing. But I think it, it, you know, the whole piece comes from a place of anger, and sometimes when I'm very angry, I, I just joke about it. Um, and I think that's a sort of a Zambian thing and it seems very cruel for outside people. And I, and I was scared that people would think I'm just being cruel and I'm attacking a belief system and that wasn't the case. I hope they understood what I was kind of trying to express. So yeah, it was, it was I, didn't, I didn't know I was gonna get it. It was, uh, it's just editing.